Build a Sign was a concept that we developed and tried to sell to local sign shops. We spent about six months taking it basically door to door to sign shops, showing what the capabilities were, the design tool that we have online, and explaining how it would help reduce costs and provide a, potentially a very large additional revenue stream for the business. And we just had a really hard time making that sale. Uh, and we ended up continuing to develop the product with the idea that we would sell it or license it up until the point where we actually launched it online to prove out that it could make money, and it, it did make money. And at that point, we went from trying to sell software to trying to figure out how to get our signs produced. So we went back to these same sign shops that we had been talking to and said, well, I know we talked to you about selling software, but now we have all these signs that we need to order. Because you know, our website looked very professional. It had uh, a three-day guaranteed turn time, and all we had was a 100-square-foot office with two computers in it. So we were going back to sign shops saying, hey, can you make this stuff for us? And we ultimately decided to get into the sign business back at the beginning of 2006 and bought a printer, opened up a, a shop, and it's just been growing rapidly ever since. The Build a Sign Troops program is something that we started back in 2008. One of our executive's sisters in the military, and they were throwing her a welcome home celebration. And so he had the idea that we could give away uh, welcome home banners for re families of returning military, where we could put up templates that say things like welcome home daddy, they could upload a photo of their loved one, and we could really help with, with that celebration. And to date, we've given away over 200,000 banners to families of returning military, which is over $7 million in retail value. So I feel like customers, employees, and the community are really overlooked by a, a lot of businesses and those are three things that I think are extremely important and if you take care of those then the business tends to take care of itself. I went to UT because uh, my parents are here in Austin, all of my friends were here in Austin, it was a good school and I, I really just love the city. This is the place where I want to grow old, this is, I, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity to, to give back and really watch Austin develop as, as a community, as a place to work and live and to raise a family. So that's why I stayed here, that's why I'm still here today and why I chose to start my company here. I ran this morning in the gorilla run where I was wearing a gorilla outfit along with you know thousands of other people. Then I've come here to talk to you and, and uh, do this interview. I'm going to the Startup Olympics after this where we're competing in all kinds of crazy events from Giant Connect 4 to beer pong to darts to an obstacle course. And then after that I'm taking my wife and kid to an old-fashioned drive-in movie. And I, I think that that is a fairly typical day for Austin and there's just so much here that is exciting to, to get involved in. You have to have the right founder team. Um, I've seen a ton of businesses just fail because maybe they don't recognize their own weaknesses or they bring people on with uh, non-complementary skill sets to their own and the business will stagnate. There are all kinds of programs both free and paid to get involved in that will help you get your company from point A to point B, wherever those two points may be within your development cycle. There are incubators here like Capital Factory. There are venture, uh, venture companies here. You don't ever run into someone who, here's what you're trying to do, here's you're trying to be an entrepreneur, and asks, why are you trying to do that? That's crazy, why don't you get a job? You know, and, and we're really supportive here as a community of entrepreneurialism. And I think that stems from uh, you know, how much we really admire the individual and people going out and blazing their own path. And entrepreneurialism just really fits perfectly inside of that Austin culture. So I really think that in 10 years what we'll have is an entrepreneurial area or district that's probably centered downtown that really acts as a hub for businesses in every stage of development. And, um, and having that be an, an awesome place for resources, to meet people, to get funding, and will really be a magnet for, for talent around the country to come down here to begin their, their businesses.